Resistivity Scanning Calibration Resistivity scanning allows you to find large metals, large structures such as tunnels, chambers, caves. Resistivity scanning has two different search modes as automatic and manual. Warning! Before you start resistivity scanning, you must attach the conducting probes and wires. Absolutely do not attach wires to the sockets after the scanning begins. Resistivity scanning has the output power of 110 volts. Do not touch the metal parts with your bare hands during the scanning. This may cause serious injuries. Calibration Wet soil can cause mistaking in your operation's resistivity scanning. In order to minimize the rate of mistaking, you must perform soil calibration. For calibration settings, arrange the probes 1 to 2 meters apart and place two conducting probes on the ground. Place the probes in ground free of any metal, cavities, or water. Attach the conducting wires which come with your device to the probes on the other ends to any line on your device. For example, to the A-line output sockets number 1 and 2. Select the calibration object in the resistivity scan menu. Select the line on which you have attached the probes and select calibration. The calibration should now be completed. The data will be fixed as soil level. In automatic search or manual search modes, you can scan with the obtained calibration value. You will need to redo the calibration in each different scan or area. For deleting the calibration and returning to the interval of the device on manufacturer, select the reset option on the calibration menu. Therefore, the calibration values of the device will be reset to factory defaults. Resistivity Scanning Automatic Mode You can use resistivity mode for large metals and large-scale searches such as tunnels, caves, water, underground structures. You cannot detect small objects with resistivity search mode. Before starting automatic mode resistivity scanning, place the four conductive probes which come with your device to the ground, forming a square. Arrange the distance between the two probes according to the depth you want to scan. Your scan depth is equal to about half the distance between the two probes. Attach four conductive wires which come with your device to the output sockets of your device and the other ends to the conducting probes. Then select Automatic Mode on Device Menu. You will need to press the OK button on your device to start scanning. When you press the OK button, search will be initiated automatically between four probes. If you want to stop the scanning for any reason, press Back button. After the scanning is completed, you can see the graphic results and numerical values on the right side of the screen about the measurements you have taken. You can rotate this graph left, right, up, and down with the direction buttons on the device. You can switch to wire cage view with the start button in the front part of the device. The colors on the graph correspond to green, soil, blue, ground, light blue, water, yellow, mineral, red, metal. Also, the data on the right show the results perceived on the lines after scanning. Resistivity Scanning Manual Mode Manual mode before starting the resistivity scan, place the two supplied conductive probes in parallel with the ground. Adjust the distance between the probes according to the depth you want to scan. Your scan depth is equal to the average half of the distance between the two probes. Connect the two supplied conductive wires to any of the output sockets on your device and the other ends to the conductive probes. For example, connect to output sockets 1 and 2 with line A. Select Manual Mode from the Device menu. Select the line where conductive probes are installed. The scan will begin. After the scan, you will see the measurement result graphically and numerically on the device screen.